All right, the final countdown is on. Yeah. Christmas, three days away. Many people expecting some presents on Sunday, but a new report says the federal government has been playing Santa all year long. Wait till you see this list and wait till you hear some of the gifts that's been handed out. Investigative correspondent Cheryl Atkinson is in Washington with this story. It's an eye-opener. Cheryl, good morning. Good morning. As Congress battles over how to fix a ballooning debt problem, a new report from Capitol Hill sheds some light on why the problem exists, meaning billions of your tax dollars going to questionable programs at a time when there's just no extra money. Ever wonder if cocaine enhances the sex drive of quail? Maybe not, but the National Institutes of Health does. It gave the University of Kentucky more than $356,000 to study just that. <laughs> How about lending a little help to China, the country that holds more than a trillion dollars in U.S. debt? We sent $18 million back in foreign aid. Nothing's being done to eliminate wasteful spending. The Waste Book report is put out by Republican Senator Tom Coburn. It identifies 100 taxpayer-funded programs it says we can't afford with a $15 trillion debt. There's the $3 billion the Pentagon spent on alternative engines for the F-35, only to have it later decided the engines weren't needed. $113,000 to preserve the history of video games. A half million dollars of your hard-earned money went to researching why chimpanzees fling their feces. When people read about the sex life of quails and monkeys flinging poo around, I think they understand why Congress's reputation is also in the toilet. A recent CBS News poll shows Congress's approval at 11 percent, up a tad from last month's all-time low. The entities that received the money defended the spending that watchdogs call wasteful. The State Department told CBS News the money to China promotes democracy. Video games are part of the historical fabric of our times and merit preservation. And as for chimps throwing poo and other such research funded by the National Institutes of Health, they say peer scientists determined those are important questions for study. Chris? Mm, CBS is trying to see Very important. It. Yeah, I tell you, the democracy, the fabric of our society, I agree with all of it. <laughs> Cheryl, thank you so much.